gently bring your attention focus to the center of your forehead and visualize yourself to be a point of eternal light a light that makes this body move a light beyond the physical a light which is eternal a light which is imperishable each one of us have our innate qualities love purity bliss knowledge and powers it is a journey to become aware or conscious of this energy understanding this is one thing but to consider and to remind oneself several times during a day indicates you are gradually transitioning from so called physical conscious to a spiritual conscious i the point of light i have no beginning I have no end i am on a journey i have seen this physical body grow i have lot of memories experiences but now there is a call to become more and more aware of my real self i am a beautiful very loving supremely peaceful living energy the thoughts that i create if they are based on love based on peace every cell in this body 
receives that energy. And it spreads beyond the physical body. You start to love yourself. When you start to love yourself, it becomes easy to love others. Because you start to see others as yourself, a point of light. We all come to this planet Earth, get our own costumes, play our part. Some go after accumulating wealth. Some go after growing higher in the corporate ladder or excel in that profession. But the source of all of those accomplishments is from this tiny point of light, living energy. If one learns the skills to be connected to the real self, all the physical comforts will come to you. There will be no need to go after anything. just for a few moments. Visualize yourself to be sitting at the center of this forehead with a point of light. See if you can not remember the body, but remember the soul, point of light.
when you start to practice this on a regular basis talking to yourself in a gentle way you will truly really believe that you are a soul you are more powerful than the physical body gradually you will notice attraction to the body attachment to the body distances itself you value your living energy when the body perishes it doesn't have any value when you perform good actions you leave behind a legacy your own family members your own known contacts they will remember you not at an intellectual way but regard and respect and love from their heart you become what you think then you start to believe in yourself Now again gently come back to the center of your forehead and this living energy you are seeing through this physical eyes the soul sees through the physical eyes the soul hears through the physical ears Thank you. Thank you for joining me in this meditation practice. Um, I know for some it could be a little challenging if you are doing it for the first time, but when you start to practice it regularly, it becomes easy. and you will develop a lot of qualities divine virtues through the meditation practice okay so let me share my thoughts on the silence um the present world that we live in which can also be said as a explosion of information we have so much of information available you just google whatever the topic whatever the area that you want to know you'll get the information and you want to see something in a video you go to youtube and do this search and when you do a search you get so several results sometimes hundreds and then you need to refine your search so that you get the filtered results 
So the comfort that we have with this information is phenomenal. Never before mankind had this level of information availability thanks to internet and the technology that has made it possible to get all of this information. Is it good to have a lot of information? Yeah. Recently, you know, I didn't know anything about the um, fine tuning of bike. And through these uh, videos and uh, searches, I now know how to clean the bike chain, how to replace the tires, how to fine tune the brakes, so on and so forth, which I never did before. It is very good that we have access to so much of information. Mm -hmm. Now, why I'm saying this? We need to understand that information that is out there will get into our system through the sense perceptions. You know, the eyes, ears, and whatever you listen, whatever you see, information gets in. And this information gets processed internally. And then you arrive at a result or a decision and that decision gets played out using the sense perceptions. Taking in information, putting it out, we use the sense perceptions. Now, there are limitations at the physical level. Do you think that when the information gets in, we are using two subtle powers of the soul. One is called mind, other is the intellect. Mind, through the mind you have the thoughts or images that gets put on the screen of the mind. And then the intellect processes that information does the analysis, does the comparison, investigation, discerning, and then make a judgment call, which gets implemented using the physical body. Now, we are at a time in the world where there are very clear warning signs there are very clear messages from the five elements, that is nature, and also the humanly created system and culture. In the world, there is negative force in play. Now, if you remember, if there is any problem and you need a solution for it, you just sit in silence for a few minutes so that you can think clearly and get an answer for it. Yeah? That means the mind and intellect are so powerful that they can give you, deliver, make you pick the right choices and make the right accurate decisions. And then you benefit through that act.
but in the world <clears throat> if you look at all the <clears throat> inventions creations that mankind has done rail system road system computers laptop watches clothing anything you name the inventions or creations some point at the beginning they have taken some time of silence to process it then the invention or creation happened silence is kind of a gateway to tap into your creativity your intuition to make the right choices when you when you don't know what lies tomorrow intuition tells you go do this those who develop the skill of silence they are able to tap into their innate qualities and then they are also able to strengthen their innate qualities silence is a power i remember one story where in a school this first grade kids in a classroom they were making a lot of noise and the teacher was there in the class and she was telling them to calm down be quiet be silent but you know kids they kept talking and then they were in their own mischiefs type they were making noise few minutes she could not get their kids to be quiet the principal of that school she was in the other room she heard the noise of these kids she walked into this classroom and the kids were talking making a lot of noise and this principal she just stood with her hands folded and started to observe each kid without speaking a word just looking at the kids believe it or not within few minutes all the kids became silent she didn't have to say any word silence is powerful sometimes when we have arguments we even though we are right we try to prove it i am right when I, whenever i try to prove that i am right it comes at a cost my happiness disappears so being silent is a win win situation many times and even you know wild animals like lion tiger when they attack a prey and if that prey is still and silent even though this lion tiger are very powerful they will pause because they don't know what the other can do when they are silent 
it scares even the powerful ones above all of this silence is the language that you can connect with the supreme every human being human soul have a human body but the supreme doesn't have a physical body in order to connect with the supreme silence developing the skill of silence will help one to connect with the supreme and draw the powers that strengthens your innate qualities so as most of you said silence is more essential now as i was saying earlier there are warning signs from the five elements and from the humanly created culture and system that one has to do something different than what you have been doing all these years doing the same old same old is not going to work a warning sign from the five elements it's a wake up call for humans in the world just like the covid 19 came into this world took human race by surprise just in america 150000 lives lost and many thousands in the entire world but if you look at those left or the those who died had some underlying health condition there were many who survived it they became free from this covid but some succumb to it because the defense mechanism was not able to take on the onslaught of the covid virus similarly if the souls do not bring in change do not tap into their innate qualities if they chose to be in the acquired qualities of anger ego attachment jealousy souls will get knocked over with these forces of five elements or and the culture and system of the human race humans are supremely intellectual and those who have strengthened their innate qualities innate qualities of peace of love of purity of bliss 
of powers of knowledge the divine virtues will automatically get developed when you start to strengthen the innate qualities then those who have the innate qualities their intuition their decision making power their discerning power will be supremely accurate at a time of uncertainty that the world is seeing today mm. all the intellectual at the physical level will not be sufficient to survive that onslaught hence silence is very much essential practicing to be in silence developing the skills of silence so that you are able to develop your own inner personality i am not trying to scare by saying what i just said but with this practice you get some assurance protection security for your own self for your own family for your own community this is the era of spiritual awakening in the warning signs messaging comes those who are wise will wake up and bring in changes into their lives so this is what i thought to share mm-hmm. about silence and if um, nobody is exempted from challenges problems circumstances situations everybody are prone to that but how you respond how you handle depends on the strength that you have developed in the in with the innate qualities so that you know the skills to deal with it because we need to use our mind and intellect um in such a way that i make sure that brings benefit to myself and benefit to others so what kind of information you take in is important because whatever information you take in that gets processed so if it is like in the computer they have this input process and output if the input is garbage junk the processing is also based on the junk or garbage information and the result or the output will not be good so in order for our intuitions to work creativity to we all have all these qualities in us but we need to awaken them strengthen them we are caught up in the same old same old whether it is the political environment whether it is the culture so many things are going on in the world but if i develop this innate qualities i will have the power of tolerance power of patience i am able to forgive many people 
all of these things it is benefiting myself and when you th- you are in silent that is when you know you know how you feel inside what you want to take in what you want to process silence is a very nice powerful mechanism to evaluate your inner self the two powerful you know subtle energy that i have that is mind and intellect you know the more i learn my own mind i become a good friend of my own mind not to punish it not to take it to task but okay even though i have some defects that is okay when i start to talk to my mind in a loving way then the mind will listen and i will do exactly what benefits for me so i do not want to compare myself with anybody i am good in my own way and others are good in their own way okay so if uh, there is nobody else <clears throat> then maybe we can have a very good um, meditation practice and experience during the meditation and then i can close it after that yeah <clears throat> as you sit comfortable <clears throat> bringing your attention to your real eternal self you the eternal soul the original nature is peace love purity bliss you are playing your part in the physical body you played your part the best way you can now we are at a time being with the self and forging a connection with the highest source the supreme energy in thought you go beyond this physical body into a dimension of divine light visualize there is a huge expansion of golden red color light there is only silence here there is no noise there is no time 
you the soul you are timeless and so is the silent world silent world is a place of comfort place of security a place free from all worries in here you visualize another point of light similar to your own self but the supreme soul i am in front of the supreme energy with ocean of peace ocean of love ocean of bliss the almighty authority i the soul in the company of the supreme i look down below this planet earth i'm spreading the healing rays of peace of purest form of love to my fellow human souls being in the company of the supreme i want to give back to the human world those who have lost lives those who have lost their jobs those who feel uncertain of tomorrow and spreading the assurance getting there is no other service then helping other human souls when in need each and what one of you you are under the canopy of the supreme soul
and spreading the rays. And you are seeing the smiles on the faces of your loving brothers and sisters. It feels so beautiful. in helping others. Contributing for a better world. Just with pure good wishes. I'm happy I the soul have a physical body through which I can serve and spread the rays I see the rays are spreading to every single human soul. I'm spreading God's energy. What a beautiful life. Talking to yourself with such loving words. Influences your feelings to be loving. your attitude to be loving. And thereby creating an atmosphere of love. You are a chosen instrument to spread God's vibrations to this world. Young, old, everyone needs support. There is a old saying 
silence is golden truly it is golden when you talk to yourself like this you will notice that there is no pain in the body and everything feels beautiful from this huge expanse of golden red color light we descend back slowly to this physical world an enlightened soul having spent some time with the supreme i'm charged with the supreme's energy as you gently come and sit at the center of your forehead fully charged fully awakened with the innate qualities i am a free soul i am free from burdens i am free from all the pains everything seems normal I thank for this beautiful time. I thank for this cooperation. and now i open my eyes if you have closed it thank you all om shanti